What is up you guys? Today I'm gonna do uh, be doing a review on the GoPro Hero 8 Black. And I've had this GoPro for over a year now. Uh, just because when I got the silver, uh, 7 silver, I really just jumped into it. And I, I, I wanted to make a good review for this one. So that's why I took my time. And I've been playing around with this, figuring out all the settings and everything. And I really do like this GoPro. Like this is by far better than the silver. I don't even use the silver except for this video because I need to record this camera, which is kind of weird. But yeah, so most of all, what I really like about this camera is that it can shoot some pretty good slow-mo. Uh, You, you can get slow enough so that where you can see the uh, LED lights flicker, which is something they do once you are under a certain uh, frame rate. Anyway, uh, the resolution is good. You know, the 4K, it looks a lot better than whenever I use uh, this GoPro. Uh, just because it has more settings, you can change it to linear, and that's the setting I like to shoot it in most. That's how I shoot it in all my horse head videos which is what I've been doing a lot recently. And also the stabilization is really, really good. It comes in handy. Uh, I, I think the stabilization is finicky. Like it looks nice, but only when it really wants to. Cause it'll be super stable. And then you'll do a jump or whatever. Like you're going along like this and then you do something like this and it'll, it'll be a jerk in the footage and it's it got, it's got kind of a weird effect. I feel like after this camera, the, the stabilization really doesn't get better uh, just because I've gotten so good with it. Another thing, durability. My uh, silver is really durable, but this thing is also pretty durable. I wouldn't say it's more durable uh, only because it has this front screen. A thing I don't like about the new cameras is that they have this big LED screen on the front. And it's just, to me, it's more of a weak point than anything else. Cause I like to do a lot of crazy stuff. Like I shoot guns right next to this camera. I just really kind of do all types of crazy stuff. And I need it to be as durable as, as I can because uh, with the silver, I actually have a chip in the lens uh, just because I was playing with fireworks once and I'd never had a screen protector. I do have screen protectors on this when I bought it uh, here on the front and on the back and you can see right here that if I didn't have it I probably would have screwed up the screen and uh, that's why I mean GoPros are meant to be used not to be looked at so that's the way I kind of use my GoPro. It's kind of crazy but that's just the way I do it. Um, so yeah this screen right here I would think that it'd be pretty durable. I It haven't, hasn't broken yet, but it's got some pretty serious scratches in it. I don't know if you can really tell. But yeah, the uh, I just would always recommend getting the screen protectors just because, you know, durability. I mean, with, with anything, really glass is gonna be your weakest point just because it's glass. Uh, also the folding fingers, this is the first camera they've had. They had uh, these folding fingers on and I really, I, I like them, but I don't at the same time. And, but the thing is, once you get it into something, it's really hard to get it just right. And you're always tinkering around with it. I mean, I don't know if you can really tell, but you can kind of see the inside of them are kind of worn. These, these are smooth. You just put, you're supposed to put it through, but just cause there's like no clearance, it's like, you know, and if you don't get it in tight enough, it'll move all over the place. So it's really kind of a, a hassle. 
Uh, but you know, they're pretty durable. Mine haven't come off. I don't know if they ever will, but if they do, you know, it's a possibility. I haven't had that problem yet. Uh, so yeah, uh, as far as the screen, it sucks. And I, and I think it's just the way it is with all GoPros. I've heard that on the, uh, 10 black, that it is a whole lot better, but you know, I don't have that camera. So I would, I couldn't tell you. Once you get into the higher resolution, your camera's gonna have a whole lot more problem. Uh, this this can shoot up to 4K 60, but I have not shot 4K 60, uh, simply because my computer barely handles regular 4K 30. So I, I never use it. Uh, I, I could probably make a really good looking video if I wanted to, but I have not done that. Like this silver would overheat all the time but this camera does not do that. And I do like that. I haven't really had very many extended sessions uh, in really hot weather with this thing, uh, but I've never had any problems like that. Uh, the footage is really nice, like I've already said. Uh, this slider thing is really, really, really annoying. Like. Like you'll, it's kind of hard to open up. And then when you do open it up, you gotta take out the battery when you want to. But look at that, you, it hits every single time. And it's always annoying. You, I mean, you can do it relatively quickly, but this, this case, I, I would like it if this would go out a little bit more. And it, I mean, you can take it off, no problem. It comes off all the time. And it's really, really, really annoying to deal with. Uh, and then there's the SD card. It is like the, it's, it's pretty hard to get to and it's really annoying. You practically have to take the battery out every time. Uh, time lapses are really good looking on this GoPro and there's a lot of settings which I really, really like because I like to do a whole bunch of different stuff, uh, different time lapses like over long periods of time. So I can see like an entire night in like a minute or whatever. And I really like that. Uh, the night settings on this GoPro do suck. However, I haven't had a really good looking night time lapse. Whenever I post them on, I don't know if I posted any on YouTube just cause they don't really look all that good. But I think the newer GoPros have better night time lapses. I couldn't tell you. The photos are phenomenal. These things, like, there is not very often that I take a photo with this thing and I, like, hate it. Uh, it's, got, it, 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 it's good photos. Let's put it that way. Um, I can't think of anything else. Uh, if you th have uh, any other concerns or things you don't like about this camera or you do like, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to talk about that with you guys. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next video.